Hello, and welcome to another edition of Sporty's How-To Videos. Today we are going to talk about how easily it is to customize the weather in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, and how you can even do this while you're flying in the aircraft rather than at the briefing page. So let's go ahead, jump in the aircraft. Here we are cruising around in Cincinnati. I'm going to choose the Weather tab from the top drop-down bar. And here's where we're able to go ahead and critique some of these variables for the day's weather uh, and other features. As you can see, we can quickly change the time of day by dragging the cursor. Here we are uh, looking at about 4 a.m. and what the lights would look like in Cincinnati. We can then slowly drag it, and as you'll see, the moon's uh, position will even change on our screen and the sun also will move to where it would be at say 7 p.m. on October 14th of 2022. So time of day we can edit. We have some pre-configured cloud settings we can choose in the program. Here we have scattered clouds, we have broken clouds, uh, we can get into what would it be like flying in a thunderstorm if you ever want to challenge yourself. Uh, we can look at what just a typical rainstorm would look like and how that would affect our aircraft. Uh, what's it like to fly towards the end of the year in the colder months with snow on the ground? We have the ability to pre-populate all those. We also have live weather, so we can choose this setting and it will pull from a local METAR and populate that into our aircraft. So here we have Lunkin's METAR and as you can see those are the details, the wind speeds, the barometric settings that are populated into our simulator because that's what Lunkin is receiving four nautical miles away from our current flight. We can also turn off that live weather, jump into one of these pre-configured uh, settings, and then start to critique that one also. So we can change our humidity, we can change the barrow pressure, our temperature, lightning, snow depth, precipitation, if we're in that scenario. We can change the winds, the direction of said wind, the gusts, the wind cadence. Uh, we can go ahead and get rid of winds altogether if we'd like uh, Day with no crosswind challenges. We can also individually change the cloud layers. We can drag them up or down on the left side of the weather panel as you can see, but then we can also get into the intricate details of these, the altitude bottoms for this cloud layer, the tops for this cloud layer, uh, how thick we'd like it to be. If we want a thinner layer we can do that too. Uh, we have the ability to change the scatter percentage how much of the sky it'll take up. We can also go ahead and change the density, how thick each little cloud cell will be. And then we can change the coverage percentage. So right now we're at few clouds, we can take it all the way up to overcast and really create a ceiling right there. Uh, and then also if practicing, say, instrument approaches. You can choose what your cloud ceilings would be like to best benefit you flying in that scenario. So a lot of things you can do while still flying the aircraft in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, a lot of scenarios you can create if you want to test yourself. Or again, you have that ability to just go fly based off what the local uh, weather is for your area. So we hope this video helped you out to understand how you can critique the weather in Microsoft Flight Simulator. And as always, have fun digitally flying.